everyone, Cynthia here. I'm back to share um, my next collabor Pinterest inspired collaboration project with my friend Misha at Scraps and Things One. Hi, Misha. This one was due um, December 22nd. We were to make a Christmas card with a wreath on the front. And I'll show you the um, two cards that inspired me. Before I do, I forgot to tell you uh, in the last video, the paper collection I used for my paper lantern was from Tis the Season collection from Bo Bunny. And I used the wood grain pattern. And this I purchased at, um, I'm pretty sure I got this from Tuesday morning. So I know I was going to show you and then I forgot, so I figured I'd show you in this video. But anyway, um, I love the the different wreath style Christmas cards I see all the time on Pinterest. This is one of them. I thought that was super cute. And they use they just use like uh, one inch circle punches at a different pattern paper and made a wreath. And I thought that was really sweet. But the one that really inspired me to make my card is let me scroll here sorry guys it's coming up I promise not too far down my list here here it is I thought that was so so pretty with the branches and the bow and the stamps and stuff so that's the one that inspired me to make mine and I loved it so much that if you all would like me to do a tutorial I would be glad to um, share that with you no problem the paper pad that I used uh, is from recollections and it's called hope and faith really really beautiful paper pad my hubby um, picked this one up for me for Christmas this year and uh, I just thought the patterns were so pretty in it so I really like that and then I used some of this holiday handmade ribbon and this one I think I got this one at Joann's but I used some of this ribbon to it has a little bit of gold fleck in it to make um, the bow and then I also used again my Thinlitz die Tim Holtz die from Sizzix. I used this branch and this branch and I glued them together different colored greens which you'll see in the paper and then I made the wreath so this is how mine turned out I think it came out really pretty this is the pattern paper in the back and it had gold in it so what I thought was I used one of the stamp sets from my collection it says Christmas wishes and you can see I embossed it in gold embossing powder and then I created the the wreath and I wanted to put it on so that these weren't all glued flat to give it some dimension and like a natural look to it with the greens and you could see the different color greens the lighter and the darker colors and then I used glory to the newborn king sentiment from the paper pad and I just popped it up on foam as well as the blue I popped that up on foam as well you can see that it's nice and dimensional and then I made a bow on the top so that's my Christmas wreath Christmas card and then on the inside I used um, a stamp I have to stamp all around the edges and then I colored them in and I used a little bit of a, a glitter pen from Jelly Roll and it just gives like a little um, almost like a clear silvery sh shimmer to the berries I'm hoping my camera picks this up for you guys but I did that in there and then in the red berry I just used my white um, Jelly Roll pen and just kind of accented the berries a little bit you can see here and then I'll write my sentiment probably next year. I'm already ahead of the game guys. I have one card down. <laughs> and on the back I used my Handmade by Cynthia stamp and I got that from Miss Purple Potato 
here on YouTube. I'll post a link to her channel as well. I did a tag swap with them one year, and she sent me this as a thank you gift. I thought that was so sweet, and I use it all the time. So, anyway, that is my Christmas wreath, Christmas card, and I'd like to do these in different styles too, but if you want to know how, you know, see how I glued on the branches and, and how this came about, just leave me a comment below in the comment section that you'd like to see a tutorial and I'll gladly do one for you. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.